Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we want to use this little device we've talked last time, the step motor, stepper motor. Uh, we want to program it, we want to make it move, alright? So this is our goal today. So we have the stepper motor, that's clear. And we do also have here this uh, driver, motor driver. The motor driver has four inputs for the four coils. Uh, these are the two ends of the coils actually. This will be important later if we program. Uh, we have to, to uh, control those in a specific order. And we also have to power supply our motor. All right, move this here down. So those two things, I mean, it only fits in one direction. This is pretty easy. The first step is pretty easy. Then we have to power supply this. Uh, so here is, here down you see 5 to 12 volts, minus and plus. So we are using 5 volts. Minus is now blue line. Plus is green line. Now, this time. Uh, yeah. So now it's power supplied. And the only thing we have to do is to connect those inputs which are controlling the steps of the stepper motor to our Arduino. So I'm going to use here this cable yeah, with the four. You should have those cables in the starter kit. And I will simply use one after the other. I will start at eight. What is the first one? Orange. Okay, so orange, then it's yellow. Orange, yellow. Stay in, come on. Orange, yellow, then green, and then blue. Okay, so this is now connected from, a, uh, from 8 to 11. Okay. <sighs> and then, of course, ground of the Arduino is connected to ground of the power supply. So now we are leveled and for better understanding, for better viewing, I will make you a little point that will simply use in my and hope we are not touching anything. Ah, uh, we will see if it turns afterwards, if we are touching anything with this, because this is going to rotate and I'm not sure there are... <laughs> well, what should happen? What is the worst thing that could happen? It could simply burst up in flames and... <laughs> I don't hope so. Okay, uh, burst up in flames, let's see. Let's connect this. Power it on. No smell, no smoke. Good. And connect it to the computer as well. Bim, bidi, bim. Good. Good. Now we should be able to program this. So this is the hardware setup. Fine. Now let's program it. So of course at the computer we always start with a new program, almost always. Sometimes it's useful to use an old program, but I'm using a new one here. So I will again save it as programs and now use the next number. 29 stepper. Stepper is a good hit. Stepper is uh, called also the library we are going to use. So again, we are using a library. All right. And we are calling this with hashtag include. Include. Huh? And the library is called stepper.h. This is a built-in library from Arduino itself. If you're on the Arduino page, you can find it under reference. Yeah? 
and here there is libraries at, at the left hand side, libraries, and there is also the library stepper. Alright? And here we have the function. So we are there is an object called stepper. We only have to give the four pins yeah? and how many steps. And then we can select set speed and step. Yeah? I will show you how this is working. So we're defining now a bunch of steps per revolution. We said it's 4096. This has been calculated. Define step pin number one. And now it's a little bit awkward. However, we have this is not in order. Yeah? This is due to the programming of this library, how it fits together. All right? Not both things are logical, however, this is, those two always fit together, pin 1 and pin 2, yeah? pin 3 actually on a unipolar would be the second pin, doesn't really matter, this is the order, okay? And now we are defining our stepper, yeah? I will call it a drive. And then we have to use those things, and I'm not sure if I already mentioned it. We can even write it in the next line, okay? So then you can group things together a little bit, which make some sense. Yeah? Then the code maybe gets sometimes more readable if we make a line break in between. And suddenly the semicolon really makes sense because this is actually the end of the command. Yeah? The end of the line is the end of the line. The end of the command is the end of the command. If this makes sense. Serial begin. We are going to write something to our serial monitor and uh, we will set the speed. Set speed. I don't know, five, whatever this is, and we will see, we will experiment then with these values. And the first thing we will do, we will simply let it turn, okay, turn clockwise. And then, the only thing we have to call is drive.steps. And then, how much steps do we want to go? Step code. We simply make a whole revolution, right? Then, we delay, I don't know, two seconds. Yeah? And then we're going counterclockwise. We're doing pretty much the same there. Yeah. And we make minus steps. This is good. Yeah. So we should turn clockwise for one revolution. And we should turn counterclockwise for one revolution. Okay. Let's see what is happening. Yeah. Upload. It's <laughs> this was not one revolution. <laughs> this one. Okay. And again, we're hitting something. A pointer needs space. Let's see how many revolutions. <laughs> now we are not touching anything. <laughs> One. Two. It's two revolutions. Why is that? Hmm? This is because in the data sheet they were written half steps. Okay. 
So one half step is, is uh, this five degree, five point something degree. So here we have to give steps and this means it's only half. Yeah? So, but you know, I already see what is happening if you have the steps of the motor wrong. It will simply turn further or not that far. Yeah? So, you know, it's not that critical. Yeah? So we'll just, just change this here uh, uh, to 2048. Okay. Upload, upload, upload. Let's see. Now it's we're starting here. It's already not that fast yeah? because it simply has in the same turn. Ah, now, now it looks like we're exactly turning one rotation. So this this is what happens if you have the wrong step per revolutions. Yeah? You see, it we are even moving slower. So this speed seems to want to, to keep the, the, the rotation speed constant. Not, not steps by, by time. It is the rotation speed. Let's see if we're going up. Yeah? 10. Yeah? So I have changed here now the speed step to 10. Yeah? Upload. What is happening? Twice as fast. See if the revolution is okay. Ah, almost. If we are go moving faster, we might lose steps. Okay, this is a typical behavior of step motor. If we're moving too fast, then maybe some steps are lost. Let's see if we can show it to you. Let's let's change this to 20. Okay, or again double in time. See what is happening now? Ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now is it vibrating? Yes, it is vibrating. Typical issue. Now it is too fast. The the root it cannot follow anymore. Alright? Uh, it tries, but it cannot. We are simply too fast and we are losing steps. We are losing almost all steps, it looks like. All right. So this is what happens if you put in here too fast values. Let's try something in between. 15, upload. Oh, yeah, this is again working. It's pointing directly to this little piece here. Still looking pretty nice. Yeah? So this, I think, is good. Yeah. yeah. This is how a stepper motor is working. And you could combine this stepper motor now. Yeah? You could combine this stepper motor now with a different element. Now it's turning left and right and so on. Yeah. However, you could use, for instance, the remote control, huh? the II remote control. Combine this program, this stepper program here, with, I don't know, play uh, forward, backward, and so on. There are different buttons out there. Think about something. Yeah? Think about something you could do with the II remote control uh, to stop it, to make it faster, to make it slower, I don't know, jump to a new position. Yeah, you could try this. Yeah, or you maybe could try the, the encoder, right? So that you, using the encoder, if you turn it, this thing will also turn. Yeah? This would also be a possibility of what could be done. Okay? Simply make some input, try to control the output. 
Stepper motor. Again, one drive, one possible drive. Next time we're going to measure. Uh, next time we're going to measure dis distances with a sonar type thing. Okay, next time we're going to talk about uh, measuring distances with the ultrasonic distance measurement. Uh, we will shout and listen for the echo. Uh, how this is working, how this device is looking and so on, I will explain in next video. Mm -hmm. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.